Hey guys, what's up? My name is Zoe. Welcome back to my channel. I have some super duper exciting news for today's video. We have my official bands. They're here. I'm sorry, I'm also making this video in a parking garage, but I'm just super excited. I just got them in and guys, these have been in the works now for honestly like six to seven months I've been testing out different bands and I want to make sure that they were perfect for you so these of you guys watch my workout videos or if you belong to the Z body fitness app you see that I use these a ton these are amazing for your butt they just add a lot of resistance you usually put them right above your knees I'm gonna go into my warm-up routine for this video and show you a few of the exercises that I use them with but basically they're gonna come in a package of three for you guys as you can see we have the Z Body logo right here on the inside it is this rubber it is made of latex by the way so if you do have a latex allergy I do apologize um, I have had a few questions on that so they are made of latex so if you do have an allergy I'm sorry hopefully I can maybe try to figure out how to get around that maybe next time I can talk to the manufacturer and see if there's something else that we can use instead but anyway they're gonna come in a package of three each one is a different size so the best thing about this is that you can use so this is the biggest one this is the dark gray let me just show you them all on my arm so you can get an idea of the colors basically it's a gray scale because gray is the best color ever so we have the longest one here this one is going to be best for sumo exercises. This one, middle one, I use probably the most, I would say. I use it mostly for squat variation and then a ton of other things. And then the smallest one is my favorite one for glute activation. But again, everyone is probably gonna use different ones depending on your resistance level. This one is obviously gonna be the most difficult one since it is the smallest. But yeah, I'm super freaking excited about this. Uh, so we're starting the pre-sale this Friday, so this video is coming out on Wednesday. So the pre-sale is going to start on Friday. I don't know how fast they're going to sell out. I only have a limited quantity for this first round. So if you want to get them, please make sure to sign up below via email so that you can be notified first on Friday. Basically what's going to happen is I'm going to notify those who are signed up via email first. Then I'm going to notify those in our exclusive Facebook group. I will also link that below for you guys. And then I will announce it publicly if I still have some left. But like I said, this will be a limited stock. So please, 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 if you want them, please make sure to purchase them on this pre-sale round because I don't know how many or when the next restock will be. So yeah. Bands are also gonna come with a little black bag for you to put them in with the Z-Body logo on it, which I'm super excited about. Guys, you don't even know how much your butt is gonna hit you after using these. I'm gonna go through a little bit of workout and warm up with you guys after this little intro. So for the pre-sale, these are going to be $30, yes heard me correctly all three for $30 plus shipping of course and that honestly I feel like is super super affordable I feel like most people are just selling the package of one and it's usually like 20 bucks so I feel like for all three and you're getting them for 30 bucks that's super cheap and I feel like the three makes a big difference because I feel like the different sizes are essential I have had just a regular one that I obviously used a ton I used to use the fit girl one but it does kind of stretch out over time and I feel like I couldn't really use it obviously in sumo exercises and then for glute activation it would honestly be too loose so I do feel like the three combo is just honestly the best Pre-sale is going to be $30, and then after that, retail is going to be $45 if I even have stock left. So you are also saving money with the pre-sale. The only, only negative about the pre-sale, which I don't even think it's a negative, is they're going to ship in three to four weeks after you purchase them, just because they're in the process of being made right now. So yeah, so they will ship in about three to four weeks, and hopefully sooner than that. That's just my extended deadline. Obviously, I'll ship them out as soon as I get them in. But yeah, so I'm gonna link all that below. Please make sure to sign up with your email if you're interested. Again, I don't know how quickly they'll sell out, but I do anticipate that they will sell out. Also, please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not already. Again, I appreciate it and help support the channel. And let me know what kind of videos you guys wanna see. Do you want me to start doing vlogs again? Because I feel like I'm in the mode to vlog again. I've been going through a lot of struggles this past two weeks with anxiety and depression and it really does affect my ability to film because I don't want to put content out that is not my highest self and putting good energy into the world it's very hard to film when you're anxious and depressed and you have to feel like you're acting on film and that's just not what I want to do super excited and yeah let's continue into the warm-up and I'm going to show you guys a few of the exercises that I use these bands with can't wait for you guys to get these and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.
Hey guys, what's up? So we're going to start off with my warm routine for my leg days. So I just want to firstly start off by saying that warming up does make a huge difference. And I really, really encourage you guys to warm up before your leg days. Um, it just helps in so many things. Obviously it helps prevent injuries and just is just freaking good for you. So before I even start the stretching, I do usually do five to 10 minutes on some sort of cardio machine. Usually the Stairmaster, if I'm being honest, I just have a loving, very sweaty relationship with the Stairmaster. I don't know, I always do Stairmaster. If I don't do the Stairmaster, I will do incline walking. Every once in a while I do the elliptical, but those are my two favorites. So we're gonna start off with just some stretching here. You can see that I started off with a little bit of hip opening. Um, here we have some stretching out those hamstrings. You're just gonna go down, stretch out that lower back, go back up, and then walk those feet up to your hands. Again, if I kind of just do what feels sore for the day. Um, typically my entire warm up routine will take about 20 minutes. Uh, you can obviously do a shorter one if you're short on time. However, I usually for my leg days like to set out a good amount of time. So here's just some stretching and then we're going to move into some hip openers. So for these, I was actually a long distance runner for seven to eight years before I got into weightlifting five years ago. And from that, my hips are just super tight. So I really, really like to concentrate and focus on opening up those hips. For this one, it's just one of my favorite hip opening exercises. You're gonna stick one leg back, rest it on something, and you're just gonna stretch that arm up and really feel the pull in your hip flex and a little bit in your quads as well. Again, do what your body allows. Do not overstretch yourself to the point where it hurts. It should not hurt at all. It should just feel like you're stretching. And I try to aim for about 20, 15 to 20 seconds on each side. And then for our next one, we're just going to be doing a straddle, I think is what these are called. I really don't know what these are called. But anyway, you're just gonna spread your legs apart. You're gonna stretch. This is actually child's pose in yoga, if you guys do yoga at all. I actually recently just started getting back into yoga, which is helping a ton with my hip flexibility. But yeah, this is one of my favorite stretches. I just try to do it for as long as I can. It is a little bit painful, but I am getting better. I can tell I'm making progress. So it's gonna stretch out your inner hip muscles, your hip flexors, and it's just great for you. Then we're gonna move into some hip circles. For these, again, this just helps warm up that hip joint, gets all the blood flowing, and I love these. I think it makes a huge difference in my squatting, and just I just feel better during my workout when I actually take the time to warm up. Please, please, please warm up. Inside my app, you do have a little bit of a warm up. However, um, I do suggest doing some of your own stretching alongside that. Maybe if maybe in the future I can actually put a whole stretching routine on the app. Let me guys, let me know if you guys want me to do that. Um, or if it's something that you're interested in, maybe I can even make a whole stretching routine on my YouTube channel. Uh, let me know and I can get that in the works for you guys. So this one is a little bit more of a quad stretch. It does open your hips as well. This one I've been working on in yoga. I don't recommend doing this for everyone. It is quite challenging and I can't always do it, um, but I do find that my quads tend to be really tight as well. So this helps stretch everything out and just make sure that you're gentle with it. Make sure you listen to your body. Make sure you're not injuring yourself. All right, guys, now moving into the best part. After you've warmed up and done everything, we're gonna move right into glute activation with our new bands that are beautiful. As you can see, they have the rubber insole on there. It's not gonna slip at all. And I'm just super excited for you guys to get these. So make sure that you sign up below with your email address to get your bands. So we're gonna start off with some lateral side steps for these. These are one of my favorite glute activation techniques. With glute activation, really what you're doing is you're waking up those glute muscles. You're telling them, hey, what's up? We're about to work out. I need you to get me through these squats, get me through these hip thrusts. If you're not activating your glutes, you're gonna typically be using more of your quad muscle because your quad is what you're gonna be using all day to walk. So it's already awake, it's already ready to go. But with your glutes, they're typically asleep, especially if you have an office job where you're sitting all day, you're not using your glutes. So I really, really recommend that you do the glute activation exercises. They are included in your app um, and they do change every once in a while. So I kind of switch mine up now and then. These are the three fourth banded squats. Again, you wanna focus on pushing those knees out, really using that resistance and really forcing your booty muscles to turn on. Another one of my favorites is clamshells. If you girls are on the app, you would know this one is just amazing. And for this one, I'm using the little band, the smallest one. 
and yeah because you can see the movement here is very tiny so if you did have a bigger band it just wouldn't be as beneficial as I feel like it is with the little band and then we're gonna move into some heel raises for these or supermans I'm just not using my front body to do the superman again for this you're gonna focus on pushing those knees out towards those pinky toes and then we're just gonna do a bent leg version this one is a little bit more of your hamstring a little bit lower in the glutes and I love it All right guys, so this is not gonna be a full leg routine. I just wanted to show you some of the different uses for the bands. So for this, we're using the largest one and this is a sumo exercise. So you can see how wide my feet are spread apart, but I'm still able to use the biggest band and really get that extra resistance in there. Again, you wanna focus on pushing those knees out towards those pinky toes and really pushing through with those heels for this exercise. And here we are using the middle size band for this one. We're going to be doing some donkey kicks and then we're gonna be moving into rainbow kicks. So for this, you wanna have that band right up again. And notice also how it's not slipping at all from the other leg, which is honestly such a huge, huge benefit of these bands. I know a lot of people are using, are used to using the rubber ones and they just slip all around and it's super frustrating. So we're gonna move straight into the rainbow kick here. Again, notice it's not slipping. So for this, you're just gonna do a little half circle, really focusing on squeezing that glute at the top keep that back nice and straight as well And guys, moving into the last exercise here that I'm going to show you, we have some hip thrusts with the band. This is, again, the smallest one. It just helps because you're having more of a narrow stance here. So whereas if you had the regular sized one or the larger one, it would not be as beneficial as the smallest one. We're just doing some hip abduction in between each one. And then I feel like it's super beneficial even in the hip thrust movement part because you're it's forcing you to basically push those knees out towards your pinky toes the entire time. And sorry, got blurry there for a second. Um, but yeah, those are just some of the exercises again you can throw them into basically any sort of workout routine hope you guys enjoy this video and my warm routine again don't forget to sign up via email below so excited for you guys and i'll see you next video bye i love you